Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chovitz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah HaKotzar. Mitzvah Loisa say the negative commandment, Kuf Nun Zayin, at number 157. You're not allowed to destroy any holy thing, nor are you allowed to erase any of the holy names of Hashem, as we shall see. Shenebar, it says in the Torah, Do not do these things to Hashem your God, which means what? There are seven divine names of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that he's referred to as, you're not allowed to erase them. And if a person erases even one letter, let's say it's the name Yud Kei Vav Kei, and somebody erases the Yud, just one letter, like they get lashes. And if his name, if, if the name of Hashem is spelled out like Elokecha with the Chav, your God, or Chem, the Elokechem, your God, plural, and you erase the extra letters, which is not the name of Hashem, but it's, it's designating that He's your God. So you erase one of those, pref- I guess we'll call it a suffix. You erase one of the suffixes. Makin oisai makis mardus. You should give that person also lashes as a result. Kli shekasa v'lav shame. Let's say that you have a vessel and a, and God's holy name is written on there. Koitzeitz l'makim hashem. So you have to cut out the name, the part where Hashem's name is. V'goynez. You have to put into geniza what we call shameless and it has to be buried properly in a Jewish cemetery. Vim kasev shem al matachas. If you wrote Hashem's name on a piece of metal, vehitich es al matachas, then you melted down the metal. So you melted Hakadosh Baruch Hu's name, which means you erased it. Like you get malchus, you get lashes as well. Kisve akodesh uperushayin. If you have kisve akodesh holy holy books, for example, you have a sefer Torah that was written, or something in Navi that was written. And even the commentary, so if you have a Sefer, like a Mikras Gadoilis, for example, like the book of the Chumash, with commentary that's printed on the inside, if a Jew wrote these things with holiness, somebody who destroys them, that person is going to get flogged with lashes as well, because he was disobedient, he destroyed Kisve Kodesh, the holy writings of the Jewish people. So now it sounds like from over here it's talking specifically about um, something that was written on a cloth, on a parchment, it was written by a cipher. Talking sounds like it's talking specifically about that. Being cost for not because, but if a heretic wrote any of these holy works, so his his works are meaningless. The Sorfin Oisan Imaz Kars and even though that he wrote God's name in there, you burn it up because that's heresy and it's not the Kiddusha of the Torah. The Asa Lister La Ambe Chum Daver Kedusha. You're not allowed to really, to um, you're not allowed to destroy any object of Kedusha. So that would mean any safer that a person has a Kedusha, any Aron Kaidish, any bima that is being used, any curtain that was in front of the Aron Kaidish and the like. A person cannot destroy them. They have to be dealt with appropriately. This is something that has to be kept everywhere all the time. Bescharim unekevos with men and with women. We are all bound to this halacha. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.